All right, come on in, hit the like button, think about subscribing if you have not already. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel, and most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. All are welcome. So this is my personal opinion slash review for the 2023 horror comedy called Renfield. Here's the plot. Renfield, the tortured aide to the narciss his narcissistic boss, Dracula, is forced to pursue, pursue his master's prey and do his every bidding. However, after centuries of servants, he ready, he's ready to see if there's a life outside the shadows of the Prince of Darkness. Now here's the cast. So as you're going into this, keep in mind that with low expectations that this is a Nick Cage film. Um, so, uh, but it is a comedy. He, he's very open about his acting skill not being taken seriously. He's just kind of a come of a meme at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, again, this is a Nick Cage film. He's Dracula. Um, this film, though, was gross at times and not because of the over-the-top gore which came off comical is why it didn't really bother me, you know, um, at all. And in general, I'm used to gore. But uh, I was the, it was the bug-eating part that got me and the fact that the different stages that they did, the really good prosthetics of, uh, of, um, of Nick Cage's Dracula. Uh, the film kind of reminded me of an old Evil Dead films from, what, the 70s or 80s? Um... And all those type of films that the, the actor that, that's known for those films, that he tends to be kind of comical. And that's from the gore, the lighting of the color pat, uh, patine, or what we call it, uh, palette. And that was used throughout the film, along with the cheesy comedy. Now, the comedy had its moments, though, but had its forced times as well. Uh, Aquafina comedy was okay at times, but to be honest, I'm not a personal fan of hers. But I liked her in this to a degree. Uh, definitely more weight towards the middle. Towards the middle, but not in the middle. But towards the middle, it went forward. The, the comedy kind of died down and made it more and made it tolerable. Um, you know, this the story picked up uh, just for me personally there. With, and the characters between the, the main actor, male actor, and the and Ekrafina, which is a weird name. Sorry, but it is. Because uh, this is not water. Um, her her chemistry between them started picking up and started unbelievable. It wasn't originally in the beginning. Um, but Nick Cage, well, it's Nick Cage. Personally, you know, he's an okay, was okay in this. Uh, anything he's been in is either he's been really bad or he's just been okay for me personally. Uh, but he was okay in this. Overall, the best parts was the look, the action, and the horror. The story was good, but the comedy was overpowering. That uh, was layered on a little of the thick side, in my personal opinion. Uh, but definitely an enjoyable type of fun film. But here's my reason to come back with my final thoughts. Look, either way, I've had a bad day and a week. So this lightened up my day, no, no matter what, if, if it was a good, great film or not, which, in my opinion, it obviously wasn't. Um, but it wasn't bad, bad. Uh, I've seen worse stuff, especially from, um, oh, Gross, Ghost Town or something, that Nicolas Cage movie I did a review on. Oh, man, that was horrible. Uh, I'll have what that is up. But um, I really can't complain other than it just, you know, what I did so um, but overall this film was okay definitely wouldn't watch it again anytime soon was disappointed though that there was no end credit scene confusing uh, con telling us that there's gonna be a sequel is what I'm trying to say I can't think of the word C but um, I can't really give especially spoilers into why in case you want to go watch this but which, I mean, if you're having a bad day, I would rent this, but wait till it's on sale, to be honest. Or wait till it's on a streaming service. But I wouldn't go to a movie theater. I'm glad I didn't go to this. I wasn't thinking of going, but I'm glad I didn't. So, um, 
But yeah, but what did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Will I have something out tomorrow? Probably a very low possibility that there is, but uh, I wouldn't count on it, so keep that in mind. I do have something in mind. Um, I do have to get everything ready ahead of time, as always, so... Um, but, uh, yeah, remember, I love you all, please stay safe, and skull.